Hey guys, Uncle Loz here, and as you can see, I'm joined by some random person. I don't know what's happened to Auntie Liz, but now we have... Who's this? Cousin Liz. Cousin Liz? <laughs> yeah. Like Cousin It? Yeah. <laughs> like Morticia. <laughs> as you can I see, don't... Auntie Liz has had her hair done. So let her know what you think of it. No, it's... don't let me know what you think of my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... I'm still getting used to it. I've only ever known you as blonde. So I've it's... only ever been blonde. I keep catching sight of my reflection. I'm like, ooh. I see you in like the corner of my eye. I'm like, who's that? I know. It's taken some getting used to. And and you... then... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, it's not about my hair. It's Go not about talk. your hair. We are here to talk about Africa's Strongest Man, which took place last weekend. Yeah. Uh, great to see regional shows happening in different areas. Obviously, like Europe's Strongest Man, America's Strongest Man, you know, we we want to see big strongman events happening all over the world and hopefully these guys getting a chance to filter through to big giants live shows international shows yeah. and show what they can do on the world scene so the contest this year was won by Tobolani Mabasso now Tobolani was a reserve at world strongest man last year very good lifter um, one thing I noticed about this show is a lot of these African athletes they have certain things they're exceptionally good at so Tobolani for instance hit a 201 kilo log which is absolutely world class also in this show we had Chris van der Linden who broke the African deadlift record which was set at 440 kilos which is absolutely massive yeah. and Chris competed at World's Strongest Man last year he did he was in group four which seemed to be it was like the group of doom I think it was um Terry Hollands Adam Bishop uh JF Cron only three guys finished that group Chris and Terry both injured early in the competition so we didn't really get to see what he was made up of worlds last year it'd be really nice to see the winner of Africa's strongest man it's a whole continent for Christ's sake get an Im invitation even if it's like a wild card invitation to worlds absolutely I think it's a contest that's kind of on the up it's a shame someone maybe like Iron Bibby doesn't compete in this show yeah. it'd be great to see someone yeah. some like a, a big face take part and help the growth of it uh, yeah I mean Chris Chris, despite his 440 deadlift, ended up finishing fourth overall. Tabilani was the most consistent performer, but he only just won when you kind of look deep into the results. So we had three nations represented in Africa's Strongest Man this year. Obviously, South Africa being the predominant represented athletes. Uh, then we had Zambia. Yes. And Ghana both represented. Mm. So good to see different nations being represented. It'd be nice to see a few more yeah. um, into that. But we see it with with all regional shows, Europe's Strongest Man, for instance. Yeah, yeah. and we don't know what travel restrictions and stuff might be like down there, to be fair. I, I, I do know it's quite difficult at the moment, yeah. particularly South Africa yeah. area. So, yeah, it was um, a solid competition and it was close at the top. 49 and a half points for first place. And then we had a guy that I've not heard of before, Yako Schoonwinkle. I'm so looking forward <laughs> to you trying to say that name. Schoonwinkle? Schoonwinkle, Schoonwinkle. Schoonwinkle. Very close to the top. And when we look deep into the events, so the events that they had, Max Loglift to start with, the winner had 201 kilos. That was um, Mabasso, who was the overall winner. So 201 kilos is a big log lift. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. And then we've got Chris van der Linden in second place with 190 kilos. And then you kind of look down the list, we've got a few 170s, a 175 there, uh, 160. So that's not bad log lifting at all. The max deadlift was event number two, and this was a little bit more separated by, you had Chris, who absolutely dominated the show. Chris hitting 440 kilos for the event win. Um, Mambasa was second with 385, so a big drop. And deadlifting, looking at the numbers here, we're looking at like 370s, uh, 330, 320, 350. Mm. So maybe the deadlifting side of things needs to come up in this region. What I'm trying to kind of show here is the standard. We've got guys that are exceptionally good on certain things. Yeah. And I think as they get more opportunities, we're gonna see that rise. Yeah. Um, because sometimes it's easy for us to sit here and say, oh, such and such should be invited to World's Strongest Man. You know, when it comes yeah. to those invitations, we look at why isn't certain nations represented. Yeah, but if that nation's level is that uh, much absolutely. lower than the rest you know, of the guys if you look at yeah. Europe, for instance, every single guy there is deadlifting 400 kilos. Yeah. So that, that's all I'm kind of, you know, Half getting. Half of them deadlifting 1,000 pounds. Uh, some of the comps. And then they finished off with a really heavy Atlas Stone run. Yeah, I thought it was quite heavy for like you say this sort of level of competition so they went 130 kilos was the first stone all the way up to 205 mm. and when you see 
you know, maybe this is the kind of weights we should see at Giants Live and the, the big international shows. Yeah. Uh, maybe for this type of, of show where guys are still on the way up, maybe 180 is enough. And they've already exerted themselves doing max events. Yeah, well, looking through the results, I mean, Liz will probably put this up on the screen, but um, no one managed to do all five of the stones. No. Only a couple of the guys managed four. Three was kind of the main, you mm. know, number. And I think it's great setting those weights for the, the, the elite level. But we've got to look at the, the level of the competition sometimes as well. Um, so looking at Africa's Strongest Man, I think it's great that it's happening. I think it's great that we've had an African deadlift record set yeah. here, which is, is absolutely huge, 440 kilos. Mm. Just got to make sure they all start pushing each other and bring that level up. The final thing we want to mention about Africa's Strongest Man, they have the under 105 division as well. And in the under 105s, the world record on the deadlift was broken. The world record was broken by Blake Lorenz. He lifted 415 kilos. Take a look at this. Four hundred and fifteen kilos for an under one hundred and five. That's absolutely massive. Isn't massive, it? massive weight. He did a hundred and sixty-five kilo uh, log lift, and he won the the title overall. And this is a, a world class lifter. I'd like mm. to see him get the opportunity to maybe do the you know Clash of the Coast and the official strongman games yeah. and compete against the absolute best in the world because clearly in Africa he is dominating the under 105 scene. Four hundred and fifteen kilo deadlift, a new world record. So guys, that was Africa's Strongest Man 2021. Great to see these big shows happening all over the world right now. In 2022, I want to see even more regional big shows. I want to see the standard keep improving, and I'd like to see more representation from all over the world at the major competitions. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.